Hello friends! In the studio with another video for you. Give this video a thumbs up if you like it and leave any comments or questions below. I love to hear from you. Let's go on to the video. I want to show you my latest favorite markers. These are the Acrylograph from Archer and Olive. They are amazing and I cannot wait to share how I've been using them. I love the colors of the Tropical Selection and I have them in both 0.7 millimeters and 3 millimeters. I'm going to show you what I've done with the 0.7 millimeters today. When you open up the package, it's got the blending palette here, the instructions for use here, and then look at these. Wow, they are incredibly delicious, aren't they? But don't eat them, okay? I have fallen in love with this color palette, and because you know how much I love documenting in Archer and Olive notebooks, this is my collaboration planner with them, which many of you have seen and started to use. I love seeing all your content on Instagram. Please tag me if you have this planner or the Make Your Day one. I will be using the So Many Possibilities dated planner for 2021, and I need to fill this in, but maybe I will demo that with these pens in just a second. So here is what I have so far. I went ahead and put Avery tabs to separate the months out and I'm going to be showing you the journey of this journal throughout the year, same as I did last year with my planner. Here is what I've started for January, the monthly overlook. So there's not that much to it, but I have a couple stickers in here. I wrote protect your peace and this is something that I've shared on Instagram and it was the first three days of the year. I went ahead and covered this side with a magazine cutout because it was the end of 2020, but since I have that documented in my 2020 planner, I didn't feel like I needed to do that again. I went ahead and left this space though because I wanted to write, your daily doings and stories have a big impact. The words you use to record your hopes and memories matter. The happiness and joy you experience depends on the quality of your thoughts and your words. Let's choose them wisely. So let's do that, okay? I really believe that we can craft a life we love and even though there are so many things going on in the world. We're still in the midst of a global pandemic. We have a choice on how our attitude and outlook is going to shape our days, and hopefully we can remain optimistic. Okay, so it says, keep in mind that your energy creates your reality. Focus on the good, live more, worry less. I went ahead and decorated here, and then here is when I started using the Acrylograph and I just love how it looks. Look at that beautiful thickness. There's something amazing about the way it goes down. And so I just wanna demonstrate a little bit of it for you because I'm just starting out on this journey. I haven't done too much with it, but I plan on sharing as we go along. So let's get to it. When you first get these markers, you do need to shake them really well, but I'll show you that the tip is white when you first open them, but then the paint will seep down, just like it has here, when you activate them. Let's show you how to activate this one. So. If you're following the instructions that come along with it, you shake it with the cap on vigorously up and down before each use, but definitely before you use them. When they're brand new, you need to do this. And then what you'll also need to do is press the pen tip against the blending palette until ink flow begins. And I recommend doing it on the blending palette because I did one of them in my notebook and I think the texture of the paper actually dulled the tip a little bit more than I had intended. I was trying to be careful, but I think I just got a little distracted 
doing something else too or trying to pay attention to something else I sort of lost track of what was happening okay so you can see some of the ink is coming through sorry that's a little blurry you can see that some of the ink is coming through and then you can just hold it down and see how it seeps out and makes a little puddle so now it's activated and it's ready and I love this color okay here we go all right get creative can you see that? Is that a little too bright? Sorry, sometimes the video is a little bit more blown out than I would like. There, you can kind of see it better. So once again, this is more of a memory planner and I will make another video where I'll show you exactly my thoughts on setting it up and also some of the pages that come beforehand, what I'm gonna do with those. I have a plan to share some of the techniques that I'm carrying over from last year's planner and then some of the things that I'm definitely not going to do in this one. This also dries pretty quickly, so it looks like it's dry, so I can go ahead and flip to here. And I'm gonna switch colors. So I'm supposed to shake it before every use. And then I'll write Amy Tangerine. Isn't that so yummy? It worked last year for making it a bright year which was one of the only things that worked because it was so dark. <laughs> All right, I think that's a good start. I hope you enjoyed seeing how these acrylograph markers are working in my planner so far. I plan to share more. If you have any questions or comments or anything that I can answer for you, please let me know. I am so grateful for you. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I hope you feel inspired to keep those creative juices flowing.